What is going on, everybody? Back again. Well, guess what? You read the title. That's right. We're going to be rigging up a boat today with lots of cool things. And then we're going to show start to finish process on this thing. It's going to be awesome. Just got my brand new Skeeters in. Uh, we're going to be rigging that thing up. I cannot wait to show you all the things that we're putting on this boat because it's like really, really, really cool. And uh, I brought in I brought in the, the heavy hitter on this one. We brought in my boy Nathan Martin from Sea Clear Power to help us on this install. And, and what Sea Clear Power is, it's an upgraded wiring system for the boat. So, you know, we put so many electronics on this boat. We put, we're gonna have four graphs. I'll show you all the stuff we're gonna put on it. But we need a little extra capacity, right? We need a little extra clarity to those units. And so it, just upgrading that wiring system with the Sea Clear Power really helps save your battery management and it really clears the picture up on the units. It's, it's good stuff. But I do have a question for you right now. So we've got a battle wagon right here, okay? We've got the, got the Skeeter Bay boat right here. Oh yeah, whose is that right there? Whose is that right there? I don't know. Don't you tell me, drop some comments below. Let me know what you think. Whose truck that is? All right, by the way, by the way, I think the battle wagon's killing that right there, by the way. By the way. But that's the deal, guys. Let me show you what we're putting in this boat. Pretty crazy stuff. Check it out, guys, right there. One, two, three, four Garmin 12s. These are the Ultra 126 SVs and the power pole charge. And we're gonna do lithium batteries as well. Lithium Pro batteries, we're gonna put in Panoptics. We're gonna put in uh, the UHD transducer today. We're gonna to rig all this stuff up because look, I know a lot of you guys might be intimidated by rigging your own electronics. And, and, and look, if you can't do it, then take it to a dealer that can. But we're gonna show you today in this video that it's not that hard. It's not that hard. So we're gonna, we got drills. We've got, we've got zip ties. We got an empty, empty back of a boat right here. That being said, let's go find Nathan, get this thing going. Okay, we found Nathan, we found Nathan. I gotta grab him by his belt if he's gonna crawl into the boat, guys. He's gonna show you the proper way of going into the boat through the cutout in front of the skier. <laughs> now that's actually a good idea, right there. Yeah, this, is the, this is the deal here. That's the deal. All right, so guys, this is Nathan Martin. Cuz is what I call him, and uh, Sea Clear Power. Uh, I've known Nathan now for about I don't know at least 10, 10 years at least. He smashes a smallmouth at Pickwick. You've probably seen us do some videos and stuff with with him and the boys up there on Wilson. But he came up with a pretty cool system here, and uh, Sea Clear Power. I'm proud of him. It's it's something that all, uh, so many pros are using it now, and um, it's it, it, it's awesome. It's an awesome deal. All right, so everybody's been wondering, what the heck is a Sea Clear wiring harness? And that is it right there. That's the whole kit and caboodle. I'm gonna let you talk about that because that's that's your baby. You 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 could explain it much better than I can, but that is right there the deal. So this is the whole package. You can run any units uh, on it. Each line will support 40 amps. So we've got two 40 amp fuses mm -hmm. at the back here. We got our battery disconnect switch mm -hmm. and our jumper wire. Yep, it's right here. Yep. So all you do is you run it through the boat. Like uh, we're going to show in the video, you want to start with the wire snake, start at the bow, mm -hmm. push it all the way to the back, and then you'll just tape the uh, long end of the harness to the snake, pull it through the boat, and then you'll just connect the two inline fuse holders to the battery disconnect switch, and then run the jumper wire from the other post on the switch to the hot post on the cranking battery, run your ground straight to the ground terminal on the cranking battery, and then these connectors is what makes it so special. These connectors allow you to run multiple units into them, and what a lot of people don't understand is connections mean everything in, in wiring. If, right. if you have poor connections, either you crimp something too hard or not hard enough, you can throw the, the whole system into low voltage and when your units go into low voltage the amp draws go up so mm -hmm. this harness isn't gonna you know make it's all sealed up i mean everything's right everything's it, sharp man it's not gonna make the mm -hmm. amp draws be any less right. it's just gonna make sure that they're not more than they should be yep, yep. and so you know when when all the units are in proper voltage mm -hmm. and have clean power going to them that processor is going to be able to perform the way it's supposed to perform <laughs> look at that fuse um, dude that is crazy big 
all the all the units are going to be able to perform, and yeah. none of them are going to be able to low voltage. So your amp draw is going to be to the absolute minimum. That's what's going to allow you to be able to run one battery mm -hmm. and be good. All right, let's stick it in. All right, so the other thing that we're installing on this boat, actually I did this myself the other day, is putting on the boat logic mounts. These are the, my graph mounts. I've been running these mounts uh, probably for four years now. And obviously zero problems with them. They're American made right there in Knoxville area. Uh, the guys at Boat Logic, awesome guys. So um, yeah, I installed that here and that, that'll have a, a 10 and a 12 Garmin. Actually, I'm gonna, put two, I'm gonna put four 12s on it right now, but I have a 10 coming. And then we did the same thing back here, this mount, which is my console mount right, right here, which is have my side-by-side -side capabilities here. And all the wires will run through this little flap. And everything's good. And, um, you know, a good boat mount is important. And there's a million people out there making boat mounts now. And, but you have to have one that's well-built because a couple things can happen. One, you could have a failure of the metal. Number two, you could have bolts and screws starting to shear off or break when you're in rough water. Or number three, which is the worst thing to have happen, and I've heard of people having this happen, is that these bolts that are screwed into the boat itself rip out when you start hitting hard waves. And if that comes out and starts to try to fall in your lap while you're driving the boat, it's not an easy thing to kind of recover from. So boat logics, I've never had any of those issues. The way that they secure the mount to the boat is, is in my opinion, the best out there. So. Uh, Boat Logic has done a good job. And let me show you the battery that we're putting in this thing. That's what we're going to be powering everything with. This is a brand new battery from Lithium Pros. Okay, this is a Lithium Pros lithium battery. And guys, I don't, they don't have a name for it other than whatever this num number is right here, but it's 215 amp hours. Okay, so I'm going to call this Mega. This is Mega battery. So that's what I call it. There might be a mega out there, but this one's the real mega. 215 amp hours. You can run, you can run, what do you think, Nathan? I mean, you can run, you can run eight graphs on this thing. I mean, it's like the one and done battery, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of amps, dude. 200 and what? 15. 215 divided by 15? Yeah. I ain't good at math, but you can do it a long, you can run a long time on it. That's a long time. <laughs> and then one of the advantages of Seekler, so there's a couple of advantages and Nathan can tell you all the advantages, but the ones that I'm most concerned with is number one, you get a, a clear, you get better power, right? Cleaner power, uh, less interference, things like that. So that's, so your picture is going to be better. Number two, it's a bigger gauge wire. He's increased it. He has all kind of great connections on his whole system wiring harness and that actually uh, decreases the amp draw, okay? So you're gonna be able to run longer and get better usage of your batteries just by running his, his wiring harness, just right out of the box. So when we, when we complement really good wiring harness, Seeclair Power wiring harness, and an extremely large battery, like it's, it's a match made in heaven. And then on top of that, I have the power pole charge, which now the new Yamaha has a higher amp on the engine. I wanna say 85 amps, don't hold me to it, but it's like, most out there. So now we have tons of extra amps going back into the power pole charge, back from the power pole charge back into my mega battery, from a mega battery back to my lithium trolling motor batteries. Like it's, this is really like the best situation that I've had so far. So that's all the things that we're going to install today. And um, yeah, so we'll hopefully get all this done and show you how it works. So now Nathan is pulling the wire. Now he's just kind of just getting all that all figured out up there. I'm gonna go ahead and save some time, install this, which is the Garmin GT36 UHD. This is the transducer, which um, does all your side imaging, your side view, your down view, your, your standard uh, stuff as well. It's got a standard transducer in here as well. So I'm gonna install that. There's my GT8, which I'm gonna install on the boat with some silicone, which is something we'll have to go to the store and get, I think. That right there, beautifulness. 
Yeah. We're gonna. Where do you like to install these? Do you like? Is there a certain spot that you are like? Hey, this is better. So that when the boat comes down, then it. If y'all thought that this was just gonna be a five minute little process, we were all wrong. Even though it hadn't been that hard. But again, we're, we're, we're rigging the entire boat. So, so here's where we're at now. Check this out, guys. This is pretty cool. Look at her, look at her. You gotta come over here, look at this beautifulness. This just beautifulness right here. Look how pretty that is. I rigged this entire thing right here. I put all the wires and zip tied them all, looking all pretty, organized. That's right. All on there, locked on there, good and tight. So that is done. Nathan now is putting on the panoptics, which for any of y'all that are watching this video uh, and not sure what panoptics is, it is this baby right here, which is forward shooting sonar. Um, right there, you go like this and it shoots forward and you can see the little fishies swimming around. So, And then all we have to do now is hook up the power wire in here and then um, put this on. And then we have to watch a national football game. And then we have to come back out here and finish the boat up, probably hook <laughs> batteries up. <laughs> uh, who are you pulling for tonight, football game? Alabama, pretty good bet. I think George is going to win, dude. Just no, cause just shot at all. <laughs> oh, you think so? Dude, I, Nick Saban's got Kirby Smart's number, so. I think it might happen today, I, dude. I put 100 on, on the top. <laughs> 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 who do y'all think is going to win? Now, of course, you're watching this video and you're like, I already know who won. So, it's kind of a silly question to ask, but anyways. All right, so we're still going. It's not over, but we're getting close. All right, so what a difference a day makes, guys. Like, so the, the last clip, the sun was going down. We had the boat parked in the carport. And I said to you in the beginning of this video that we were going to install all of the Garmin's in this boat in one day. And, and if we kind of counted as maybe 10 hours, because we started late, and we actually had to do a lot more than just put in the Sea Clear Power. We had to install panoptics. We had to install the transducers on the back of the boat. I had to put the graph mounts together. We had to do everything like literally mount, rigged the entire boat, everything, and even put all the lithium batteries in. So I wanna show you what we've done. Nathan is just finishing up now back here in the back. He's got all the uh, harness and everything all installed. We finally got her done, dude. Yeah. Got See the lithium batteries over here for the trolling motor. Everything's super nice and neat, not yep. wires everywhere. I know, look how clean that is right there. That looks good, that looks good. Got the Megalodon battery right there. That's what I'm gonna call it. That's the 215 amp hour lithium pro battery that is like massive. Powerful charge. Yeah, we put that in the last night. Disconnect switch for the secret power mm -hmm. harness. Got everything else ran over here. Got our switch separated from all this power over here. Make mm -hmm. sure we keep all that power nice and clean. Mm -hmm. Get adequate volts to the processors. See, look look right here, guys. See this, this, this wire that says see clear power. This is the main. So just to, just to, so for the, you guys that are watching this and you're saying, I still don't quite understand what we're doing. There's wires that come straight from the factory that go to the front of this boat. In every boat, there's wires. They wire the whole boat. But what, what Nathan and what Sea Clear Power is, it's, it's a heavier duty gauge wire. It's its own circuit. It's its own little fuses, connectors. It's all, it's just premium, premium, premium stuff. And, uh, and so basically all of the graphs okay, or hooked directly through his harness, through his fuses, straight to the battery, nothing else. It's not teeing into the boat, it's not splitting off. And what happens is with some boats, not all boats, but sometimes you get interference with that because you've got different grounds going different places and it just creates a lot of noise in the system, basically. And with this, it's super clean, clear power going to the units. And again, with the bigger gauge wire, you're not straining your system because these units with having four units on, it does pull a lot of power and having that bigger gauge allows this, this to be more efficient, right. you know? 
And so that's basically what this is, even though, you know, this, we installed the depth finders and we installed the transducers and we installed the graphs and the mounts and everything. But, but if you want to do this on your boat and you've already got your boat sitting in your garage and it's working perfectly right now and you want to upgrade your wiring system, this is, this is when you, you call Nathan at Seaclear and you order this, the, the harness and you either take it to an authorized dealer, take it maybe if you're close to Tennessee or Alabama, you can take it up there and get it worked on or you can do it yourself. So um, I just wanted to clarify that because I know a lot of people are like, what, what did they all do? It was a lot, but the wiring harness itself wasn't that hard. So now what's, ne what's next? We're about to take it to the water and we're going to show you why this harness is important and the difference between what you're going to see with your units on the harness versus not on the harness. Mm -hmm. And we might even share a few little tips and tricks yeah, on setting it up, setting the units up. Yep. Okay, let's go. I think there's a Scott Martin video we hadn't seen. So, really? Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. Matter of fact, we were just looking like up. We were here boat. two years ago. Yeah. We were just passing through. We stopped in Clueston. The battle wagon was sitting over at the uh, tackle shop. Yeah. We waited around all day. We ate at the uh, oh tiki bar. We waited, waited, waited. And the girl's like, no, we don't no. know where he is. We don't know where he is. Oh, my God. <laughs> awesome. All right. Awesome. Made our trip. All right. Made our trip. Go into menu. Go into your figure combinations, edit combinations, and you can move this around yeah. so you, you can make your side engine right. good and wide. Yes. And then hit done. And then this is all kind of a preference thing, but for me, I like to go with um, amber or copper. I think, yeah, I, think I like copper. copper. It's probably my favorite. And that is really a preference. A lot of people, a lot of people do like the copper and the amber. But I've been a lot around a lot of people that run Garmin. They have different colors, and and believe it or not, different colors do make a difference sometimes. So just kind of play around with them a little bit and see what you see the best. So I like to go as high as I can go, and then just start bumping it down. Until yeah, right about in there. About probably around 89. Yeah, I seem like most of my most of my units I have around. In the 80 to 90 range now you can also change the um so let's show everybody how to do the, the brightness and you'll see how that makes a difference as well those are the two adjustments that you need it's on auto medium all the way up right now you just kind of have to play with it yeah. once you learn how to use your side imaging and know what fish and structure looks like on side imaging every bottom is different so this bottom might be super hard you might get down right and that bottom's mud well you're gonna have to change your contrast and brightness depending on bottom hardness right yeah so that's kind of something that you really yeah, it's not a set it and forget it type no, thing like it's, it's it, understand that like contrast is going to give you a lot more detail and brightness is going to brighten that up so you're adding a little adding a little uh it's like shining a light on it right so there is a balance in there. Like if you have the brightness way up real high, you know, you, you, you might not be able to turn your contrast up as high because it'll blow it out. So there's a, there's a medium balance in there. Again, both, both, both of my brightness and my contrast typically is hovering around the 80 to 85 range, typically. But see this right here? This is, this, this is what we call, that, that's a little hot. So he's turning the interference off. And that, that cleans that up a little bit. I'd say we got this fixed back here. All right, so you never, you never want to turn on your TVG. Uh, that'll make you not be able to see your lure. So don't turn on TVG. Ghost reject. I, I usually like it on like medium or low. Um, color gain. I like that up high. That gets it high. Look at all those fish down there, dude. Everything looks good. You can see we got 13.8 volts all the way at the con uh, the bow. Uh, it's very important to make sure you get adequate volts up here to the live scope box and your unit's 20 foot from the battery. So that's what the harness does. Just clean power to all your units. 
and gets adequate bolts to your unit so that processor can perform and uh, make sure that you save your battery make sure your units are super clear and crisp and uh, I think we're done well man I can't thank you enough for coming down and, and uh, you know helping out get this boat rigged pulling on the wire everything that we did and again all the extra stuff that we had to do I uh, cannot wait to get out there you know this year is probably more sonar stuff this year than we had last year as the way I look at it you know from Hartwell to some of the smallmouth fisheries that we do of course Pickwick you know it's, it's gonna be a big part of my year and uh, having this set up any extra little thing that I can get like putting your wiring harness in here getting your units set up the proper way is super important for me so thank you so much dude very much for, uh, for doing that it's important to control the controllables that you can or the variables that you can control you know there was a guy uh, fishing on NPFL last year on peak week had the fish to cash a ten thousand dollar check and didn't make it in because his units killed his battery because he didn't have his units wired properly yeah so you got to be able to control all the variables it's very hard to you know control a lot of things in fishing so you always want to control what you can control. yeah yeah so thank you very much we're going to drop a link in the description down below see clear power of course uh again everybody's using the stuff it's awesome so hey if you want to up your game on your sonar you want to up your game on your uh, capacity with your batteries you know, check out everything that we did on this boat thank you so much for watching and uh we've got more videos coming your way so we'll see you hey man close it out dude give them a little bam give them a little bam, bam!